Hey guys, this is Nathan from RunDreamAchieve.com. Uh, I wanted to make a video today because I got a question on one of the videos, my previous videos, uh, by Alan Law. Alan, I appreciate your question. wanted to uh, touch base with you and try to give you some feedback in regards to your question. So Alan's question is, if you have a muscle cramp during your run, how can you tell if it is caused by nutrition issues or weak muscles? Great question. Uh, very, very difficult question to answer, and I'm not sure if I'll answer it correctly or not, but I'll give you my take on it. Um, you know, a lot of times, and I've, I've had the same issue you've had numerous times too, Alan, uh, where I'm out on a run and I get a cramp out of the blue. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of the times, it, you know, it, it's really difficult. It's really difficult to figure out exactly, pin, to pinpoint exactly what it is that's causing it. Um, I don't really think it's so much a, a nutrition issue or the fact that you have weak muscles. I think that uh, it's just one of those um, issues that comes up while, while, we're, while we're training, uh, you know, that really is difficult to answer. Um, you know, muscle cramps, muscle cramps can be caused, I mean, in regards to an issue, if it is a nutritional issue, you could be running, um, running low on some form of mineral or, or nutrient, uh, maybe per, potassium or um, some other mineral or, or nutrition, nutrition nut, nutrient that's going to cause your muscles to cramp up like that. You know, a lot of times too, cramps can be caused uh, from dehydration, not having enough fluids uh, within the body. That's something that uh, a lot of us as athletes are, can be very prone to because we're obviously, we're putting in all that work, all the physical training, uh, preparing mentally to you know get ready for these big races but uh, a lot of times oftentimes we we don't take in enough fluid uh, throughout the week and you know there's there's just sometimes that you get cramps out of the blue um, and it, I don't really necessarily think it's so much of an issue that uh, it's a, a particular problem that you're having with you know weak muscles or uh, such to an extent that it's it's because of a nutritional issue. I do think that if if anything, it, it could be caused um, by the fact that you're uh, you know you could be running you could be hydrate not hydrated properly. I mean that's really the best answer I can give you. Um, you know because I've had that over the years and it's just one of those things where you know you get I usually get mine on my side. You know and some people will cramp up. Uh, and I've also I've also had really severe cramps uh, in my calves over the years as well, where to the point where and I, I remember after um, the 2007 California International Marathon, I, I got on the table to get a, a, a massage after the marathon, and I about jumped off the table because uh, I got a real uh, one of those Charlie horse cramps in my right calf, and it about I, I just started screaming. If you ever had those, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and, but definitely never have had that, that, you know, to that extent in a race. Uh, I did have some minor muscle cramps during that specific race too, around mile 23. And I was really concerned that it was going to, you know, screw up my, my finish time. You know, I did lose a little bit of time, maybe 45 seconds, uh, when I ran two two nineteen. uh, you know, getting cramped up and I had to stop briefly to kind of stretch, stretch the, the calves. Um, again, a lot of times it could be, um, you know, in, in terms of nutrition, it's really the only answer I can give you is you could be, could be running low on potassium. Um, you know, potassium obviously, obviously plays a role in muscle functioning and, you know, a lot of times too, just not hydrating well enough, uh, you know, and, and you're, and you start cramping up for, you know, and, and cramps also happen at times too, when you're, when you're fatigued, uh, when your muscles, um, if you do have, you know, in your case, you know, you mentioned weak muscles, uh, you know, a lot of times you can be doing everything right in training. You can be doing, um, you know, uh, strength training as well. And then your muscles cramp up. It's really a difficult question to answer. Um, and I know, it, I mean, I'm just sharing with you what I, what I can, I can give you too. Uh, but I have had the same issues you've had over the years, Alan. Uh, and again, I've, I've asked the same questions. Is it something nutrition? Is it a nutrition issue or am, do I have weak muscles? Um, you know, but over the years I've learned that it's just really paying, paying attention, paying closer attention to the, the, the areas of training that we usually, 
uh, don't give as much uh, focus on as we do our, you know, getting out and doing tempo runs and, and hill reps and, and doing repeat, you know, track repeat intervals on the track uh, where we get that right, but then we don't drink enough fluid and we don't either, we neglect the um, strength training uh, or, you know, we get to a point where maybe we're working too hard in the gym lifting too heavy of weight and you cause some kind of, you know, um, in minor internal, uh, injury to one of your muscles. And then you get in the race and you think every, and you feel great going into the race, but then that, 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 uh, minor injury pops up in the worst of times. So, um, you know, if anything, just kind of answer your question, uh, just, just be mindful of that leading into the new year into 2020, uh, just to, really pay attention to your hydration practices. Um, you know, do light strength training. I've had other people uh, ask me about that as well. Uh, you know, what, what are my thoughts on strength training? I think strength training is important. Uh, but you know, I wouldn't go so heavy. Don't, don't lift heavy weights, focus on very light weights and high reps. And I'm talking very lightweight. Like if you're doing, um, and this is just my opinion. Okay. It's not set in stone. It's not like, you know, this is, these are the facts and this is exactly how it should be done. It's just how I've done it over the years. So, uh, I did, I did, you know, the past 28 years focus on light, very light weightlifting. Uh, I would lift about twice a week. Um, kind of got more involved in, in it when I was in college and, um, you know, those, those are things that if you're, if you're lifting very lightweight, but high repetitions, you know, uh, focusing on your upper body and your, you know, your, your running muscles, you know, your, uh, the, you know, your buttocks, the, your quadriceps, your hamstrings, uh, iliotibial band, sometimes, uh, your IT band too. really focus on kind of maintaining, um, working on your posture because a lot of times when we get fatigued in, in our, especially in competing, uh, you know, it's, you know, the, the muscles of the body get very, very weak. And if you're paying it closer attention to uh, lightweight but high reps and strengthening your core, strengthening your upper body, strengthening your lower body, your body's going to be very, very, uh, obviously you're going to be very strong in the race. But when you start to get fatigued, uh, you'll be able to hold up. So, um, you know, again, that's what I got, Alan. Um, again, I've had those same issues that you've had, muscle cramps over the years. And like I said, it's a, a lot of times... Uh, the best way I've answered that specific question over the years is just paying closer attention to hy hydrating well, uh, making sure you're, you're warming up well, uh, light stretching prior to the race and definitely after the race. Uh, but you know, a lot of times you can do every single thing correctly and still not, you know, and still these things pop up out of the blue and you're like, man, I, I was hydrating great. I, you know, I was lifting weights. I was getting plenty of sleep. Um, you know, this doesn't make sense. Um, but you know, again, the body is very, very complex. There's a, there's a, a lot of variables that go into, uh, competing and preparing for races. And a lot of these times these things pop up and out of the blue, and it's not really so much anything that you're doing wrong. It's just, it's just the physiological components of the body. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're taxing the system We're we're pushing our bodies to the limit in these races. And, you know, it's not like, you know, the body's, unless you're, you're out there preparing, you know, like most of us are. Um, but a lot of times, you know, racing is different. It's not just like going out and running, you know, and jogging for a few miles. You're, you're really, you're pushing, pushing your, your musculature to the, to the limits and, um, you know, all the other physiological things that go along in, you know, transport of the blood uh, transport of oxygen throughout the body, all those things that normally we do just relaxing, doing nothing, you know, or just walking, walking around shopping, having a good time. But when you're asking your body to, uh, you know, obviously clear, trying to clear that lactic acid that's building up and trying to clear it faster than it's building up in the, in the bloodstream while we're racing at very high speeds and at higher heart rates, um, you know, th those things, the muscle cramps and, um, you know, muscle tightening and all those things that, that happen physiologically while we're racing um, tend to happen from time to time. And it's not so much something that you're doing wrong, but it's just some of the things that be to be mindful of and to 
focus more on definitely if you're not hydrating well enough and you know uh, that can that's um, that's something you that you can correct and work on definitely do so uh, focus on on eating more uh, fruits and vegetables especially the fruits that are you know uh, you know and, and food that's high in potassium um, and iron if you're running low on iron you're running low on glutathione um, I can you could walk up to you know 10 runners, 100 runners out on, on out, in the, out in the public, and ask them if they know anything about glutathione. And I guarantee you, probably 99.99% of them have never heard of it. So, uh, if you've never heard of glutathione, I definitely uh, encourage you to go to runjimachieve.com and definitely uh, read some of the articles that I've written about that. That is something. Um, glutathione is is the body's master antioxidant. It's very very. It's it's um. It has a very big role in iron or in uh, oxygen transportation throughout the body, and if you're running low on that, uh, as well as iron, you can be motivated as you want to be, and you will not perform at your highest level. It's it's critically important that you maintain high levels, uh, healthy levels of iron, ferritin, and glutathione when it comes to being a you know a middle to long distance runner. Most distance runners know nothing about glutathione. Never heard of it. Uh, so, you know, I'll, I'll leave uh, some information about glutathione at the bottom of this video uh, so you can, you know, read up a little bit more about that. Um, and if you haven't yet, definitely uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I've been making these videos since January of, uh, of this year, 2019, so I'm relatively new to making uh, YouTube videos. I've written about 550 posts on RunDreamAchieve.com. Uh, over the years, I've written more than I've created videos, so this channel is relatively new. I really appreciate uh, really appreciate your question, Alan. Uh, hopefully, this is giving you at least some ideas. Um, it might not have answered your question, but hopefully, it's giving you at least uh, some ideas of what could be going wrong, uh, or you know, or really, you could be doing everything right, and it's just from time to time you'll you'll get a cramp. Uh, most of the time, when I got muscle cramps. Uh, I would always kind of relay back to man, I wasn't eat, I either wasn't drinking enough, uh, or I'm I'm running low on potassium, um, or it could be you know just it, it's one of the, those two main things were my biggest concerns, and again I never really um, got the hard specifics like this is the answer, but usually when I was hydrating better and I was uh, you know eating you know, consuming more foods and, and uh, that were higher in potassium, I wouldn't have as many cramps. So um, with that, that's my that's my answer to you. I wish you the best with your training. Um, if you, not just you, Alan, but if somebody else, uh, if you're new to this channel, definitely click on subscribe and click on the bell icon. That way, anytime I make a new video, you'll be uh, notified of that. Um, I'll leave some more information um, at the bottom of this video. Um, you know, I've created numerous training programs for beginners to elite level uh, distance runners to middle distance runners that are focused on the 5k to marathon distance and I've also created numerous running courses at the Run Dream Achieve Academy uh, on the uh, on the website as well so if you go to RunDreamAchieve.com and you click either the shop page is the uh, where you'll find the training programs and if you click on courses that'll take you to Run Dream Achieve Academy where I've uh, created a few uh, courses for half marathon distance runners and uh, marathon athletes that are either trying to break two hours for the half marathon, uh, four hours for the marathon, three hours for the marathon, and I'm currently working on a course right now for athletes that are trying to break two hours and 30 minutes for the half marathon or for the marathon distance. So it's somebody that's very obviously it's, it has already broken three hours for the marathon and is trying to get to that that 2:30 barrier. So. Uh, with that, I'll leave you at that. Uh, wish you all the best, Alan. Uh, continued continued success to you. Uh, just stay patient with yourself. Continue to put in the you know put in the hard work. I can see that you know you you, uh, you, you know you were working toward a 20 miler last week. Hope that hopefully that went well. And uh, I wish you all the best. And I'll talk to you all next time, next video.